video on the channel today. We've reviewed the new Arsenal home shirt. I got my hands on this yesterday. Sillily just opened it outright. Didn't even think about like doing a review or anything like that. But I've spoken a lot this year about wanting to uh, give some more like IRL kind of content on the channel rather than um, just me sitting in my room, you know, streaming FIFA, playing FIFA. Um, we're in the kitchen, a place where I often get told I belong, so I can make a video here instead. <laughs> Why not? Uh, but yeah, I hope we're all doing well. Um, I absolutely love this shirt. I mean, we've just seen it. I haven't had it for a while. There's another little detail I've just noticed, which is like on the button, it says Arsenal and then 1886, obviously when we were established. It says it on there, which... It's just the more I look at it, the more like little hidden little details like that. It's always like the little things I think that make up a shirt for me. Um, but yeah, it's obviously quite similar. Arsenal are keeping it with the red theme, the white Adidas stripes on there as well. Nice. I like the color. The color's a little bit different. Um, but honestly, I think this shirt for me, it's not actually my favorite Arsenal shirt. I'm not gonna lie. It's not my favorite from this season anyway. Um, it's probably one of my favourite, like, more recent of the home shirts, I think. I think it's a little bit better than last season, so it's just a little bit more, like, detail and things like that to it. Um, which is what I like, and obviously, I did get Gabrielle Jesus. I know that's mirrored, but yeah, we did get Gabby, uh, on the back of that one as well. That was something that was, like, set in stone. I'm gonna rate this anyway, and I'm gonna give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. I'd push to an 8, but I feel like that would be being a little bit biased. I think it's traditional. I like the colours, like I say, obviously, the colour scheme is, is what we've seen for a while from Arsenal now. Um, they haven't switched it up too much, which sometimes can be a little bit boring, but they have added just little details, like with the collar, I think, just to keep it, make it a bit more new. Um, whilst on the topic of, of Arsenal shirts, I have finally decided... I like to switch things up with getting different names on the back of Arsenal shirts. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. I'm always a very indecisive person. Now, I knew Gabriel Jesus coming in was a big signing for us, obviously. Hopefully, he's going to be our new talisman. He's going to be our new main man in front of goal, bagging the goals for Arsenal and hopefully getting us back to, you know, where we used to be. Um, and yeah couldn't pass up on the opportunity to get him on the back of the shirt so I decided to get him on the back of the home shirt um obviously I will be going to the Emirates Cup as well and without going off on a on a different tangent on that I will uh some of you may or may not be happy to know I'll be doing a vlog uh, that weekend and we go we go down to London on the Friday I'm traveling with my dad my sister and also Becky as well so we're going down on the Friday coming back on the Sunday going to do some touristy things whilst we're in London as well just to make the most of it obviously I do live uh, a little bit like further away so it's when we're down there we, we like to go me and Becky in particular anyway we like to go and make the most out of being down there and going out and doing all the all the fun little touristy things that um, London you know has to offer we might even get a chance to meet up with some friends and some family that we've got down there as well so that would be lovely um, and yeah, I will try and do a bit of a vlog of, uh, of those few days that we are down there for. Um, last but not least, so we've talked about the home shirt um, and I have finally decided or decided how I'm going to decide who to get on the back of the away shirt and the third shirt. Now they have been leaked, but not officially announced as of yet as I sit and record this video. Um, hopefully we'll see the, the new kit soon. Um, there's like a, a, a black kit, which looks really, really nice. And also a pink one as well. Two of like my favorite, if you ask me my favorite kind of kits, I like an all white kit, an all black kit. I love a pink kit and a purple kit as well. Anything that's a little bit different, a little bit like, ooh. Red kits, blue kits are great, obviously. Green's a little bit different, sometimes yellow as well, but pink kits just hit a bit different for me as well. So I will definitely be getting all three kits this season. It goes without saying. But who am I gonna get on the, uh, the back of the other two? The way that I've decided, um, how I'm gonna decide is whoever scores Arsenal's first goal in the away shirt, I will get on the back of that. Now, 
I've got Gabrielle Jesus on the back of this, so I am going to twist it up so that I make sure I come away with three different players on the back of the three different shirts. And the way that I've done that is I'm going to have, I'm going to say that if Gabrielle Jesus scores the first away goal or first goal in the away shirt, then I will, I'll rule that one out. Um, and I will wait until it's somebody, you know, somebody different. Now, if we play in the third kit first before we play in the away kit, it does happen sometimes. Uh, it just kind of depends on like, I guess, what the team decide, what obviously who we're playing against as well, what their colours are and making sure that we wear something that doesn't clash, of course. Um, and again, so I will make sure that whoever I get on the back of the next two, on the on the other two shirts, I won't repeat. So um, it's basically got to be three different players. Um, it's a fun way to decide it. It could be absolutely anybody. Um, imagine, imagine it's somebody that like leaves shortly after as well. Like, <laughs> uh, of course, I'll be waiting for the Premier League season to start. I mean, I'm expecting Arsenal to wear their home shirt for the Emirates Cup anyway, because they will be at the Emirates Stadium, so they'll be at home. But even if they don't, I will wait until the Premier League season starts, of course. But I'm not going to say that it has to be a Premier League game, just because for some reason I might be waiting a while for like the third shirt or for the away shirt, you never know. Um, and I want to get those shirts very quickly, as soon as they do come out. It will be very, very difficult to not just get one anyway, but I will try and stick to my word. I'll try and be good on that front and... Um, just stick with it that way but yeah that is all from me for now um i hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoy um yeah i'm i'm looking forward to i'm i'm a bit nervous but i'm looking forward to seeing who we get obviously different content coming up on the channel as well so yeah, i hope you all do enjoy that if you are new here um and you haven't hit the subscribe button please do um and if you enjoy like this kind of content then let me know because i'm fully down to like try and just do something a little bit different which isn't just me sat at my desk playing FIFA rather badly as well and yeah <laughs> and just debating like why you know constantly so yeah it's good to do that sometimes I do love a good FIFA session don't get me wrong but it's nice to switch things up a little bit and know that you guys are interested in other kinds of content besides that as well but yeah enjoy uh hope you enjoy uh the video make sure you smash the subscribe button um smash the subscribe button and hit the like I definitely got that backwards but hey ho um, yeah, do all of that for me and I'll see you soon.